Welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and thousands of you have been requesting this video and I'm about to bring it to you. We are about to do a three part challenge to find out which one of the troops, the old school maxed out level 5 golem or of course the new player to the field that maxed out level 8 giant is truly better. What is the better troop? This is going to be a three part challenge. Challenge number one is going to be protect the P.E.K.K.A. Which one of the P.E.K.K.A.s is going to survive for the longest? Challenge number two is going to be Golem Healers against Giant Healers. Which one of the troops will survive for the longest period of time? And challenge number three is going to be the big one. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're just going to have to stay tuned to find out. So as I said, this is a three part challenge. I will guarantee you by the end of this episode, you will know the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Is the old school golem still the reigning undefeated champion, guys? Or is that new maxed out level 8 giant going to be the crusader? Which one of the troops is better? I want you to tell me in that comment section down below, guys. Hashtag giants or hashtag golems. Which one of the troops is going to be better? So we are ready to get ourselves into challenge number one. It is a very, very simple one. We are going to be attacking Sherbet Towers. And these are the rules. There are 12 giants. There are two golems. Each one equaling 60 housing spaces. Each one gets two healers. Three wall breakers, a heal spell, and a rage spell. Now, this is all about protect the P.E.K.K.A. So, whichever one of the army's P.E.K.K.A.s last for the longest period of time will take the first star. So, obviously, it is best out of three. There are three challenges. As I said, I will tell you what challenge number three is once we get there. But the second challenge is going to be Giant Healer against Golem Healer. I have no idea how this is going to go down. I haven't tried this yet. I'm going to take a guess, though. I reckon the Golems are still going to be the best. But let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section. So here we go, Sherbet Towers is about to be taken on now. How are we going to start this off? It's going to be, this is the fairest way to do it. We're going to drop in the three wall breakers there. They're going to break down there. And we're going to drop in the three wall breakers there. And they're going to break down there. So they will be dropped onto the opposite side of the field. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens, guys. So here go the, uh, the Golems are going to kick it off. Two healers and, of course, a P.E.K.K.A. Then the Giants, we're going to spread them in and a little bit of a widespread. Obviously, you don't want them to get completely wrecked and the P.E.K.K.A. goes in as well. So this is going to be interesting, as I said. Obviously, the Golems and the Giants target defenses, whereas the P.E.K.K.A. goes on her own. So which one of the troops is going to survive? Wow, the Giants have already lost a healer. Now we're going to drop down the first Rage spell on both of the troops there. Do not forget, we do have a heal spell each. The Giants are, uh, look like, whoa, whoa, big bombs going off left, right, and center for the Giants there. Where is the P.E.K.K.A.? The P.E.K.K.A. is stuck on the wall, so the P.E.K.K.A. for the Giants has completely left them alone. Now, do not forget, each one does receive a heal spell, guys, so the P.E.K.K.A.s have actually left the rest of the army. The Giants have pretty much been completely wrecked. We're going to drop the heal spell down on the P.E.K.K.A. up at the left-hand side there, because she is sustaining a heavy beating. It looks like the, uh, the Giant P.E.K.K.A. is going to win. So the Golems have completely left their P.E.K.K.A. alone, but of course so have the uh, the Giants. Wow, okay, they've teamed up together. Remember, the one on the left-hand side belongs to the Golems, and the one on the right-hand side belongs to the Giants. You know what, guys? This challenge is looking like we're actually going to triple-star the base, but as long as the P.E.K.K.A. on the right doesn't get hit, then the Giants are going to take the first star. So both P.E.K.K.A.s about to team up once again. The Golem P.E.K.K.A. is sustaining heavy damage, and we are not allowed to drop a heal spell on her because she has already used her heal spell. The second P.E.K.K.A. staying alive there, and it's guaranteed here, guys. The, uh, the P.E.K.K.A.s joining together, but it looks like the Giants have taken the first victory, and it looks like the, uh, they could actually be better than the Golems. So could this be the most surprising victory in the game? Could the Golems really be second place now? Well, the, uh, the first P.E.K.K.A. is about to go down, guys. There goes the Golems P.E.K.K.A. And of course, the Giants take first place. So there is nothing around it now. There is no way to save this. The Golems win. Uh, sorry, the Golems lose. The Giants win. It is 1-0 to the Giants. So the second P.E.K.K.A. is going to go down. We're not going to waste this heal spell. We're going to allow the P.E.K.K.A. to die. Die, P.E.K.K.A. Oh, maybe not actually. Hold on a second. She could actually do this. She could take out these final two buildings. And it looks like the, uh, the Giant P.E.K.K.A. is an absolute beast. She has won this map for us. And there we go, guys. The last building about to go down, I think. Oh, no. We've got a couple of huts over there. But we're going to end it there. So that is 1-0 to the Giants. Let's make our way into challenge number two. So please do not forget, guys. We are giving away $250 as soon as we hit 600,000 subscribers. We are currently on 595,000. So we are so, so close. If you do want the chance to win part of $250... 
iTunes, Android and PayPal. If you want to buy yourself some gems, all you need to do to enter is leave a like on this episode just to show some support to the channel guys, nothing else. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. Now there is a link in the description box, hit the link and hit enter, you will be entered into the 600k giveaway. So let's see if we can get 8,505 likes, that's the amount of gems I got guys. Come on, come on, let's do this. 8,000. 505 likes. Okay, so challenge number two. There are now going to be three golems, and there are going to be 18 of those, of course. Brand new, maxed out level eight giants. So we got uh, 17, 18. There we go, guys. Now we are going to bring healers. How many healers can we bring? We need at least four. So four healers, that's absolutely perfect. And we are also going to be bringing, we'll bring a rage spell each. That's all they're allowed. One single rage spell. Do not forget, you can still go down below in that comment section and take a guess, the golem or the giant. So this time, we're actually going to go in for a live attack. Now, I'm hoping to actually get a victory here, maybe a one star, you never know. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring ourselves some extra spells just in case uh, in just in case the heroes need them. So these are going to be for the heroes. We are hoping for a one star. We're also going to bring ourselves some wizards. And uh, this is, oh, whoa, whoa. Can we even bring a wizard? No, we can't bring anything. We can bring one wizard. So we are obviously, as I said, hoping for a one star. But we're not going to drop down the heroes until the giants and the golems are dead. Which trip is going to survive the longest? I have no idea. We're going to find a town hall 10, hopefully. So we will be back in a few moments time. Okay, so here we go. We have just landed on this town hall 10. It's a very fair base. Town hall 10, obviously. So there is no ego artillery. We're going to drop the three golems just over there. All in the same spot. And we're going to drop the three giants just over there. Now, do not forget, each one does get two healers. So, they go the two healers to the golems and the giants. Now, they get a rage spell each. Each one receives a rage spell. The giants are the first through the wall. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing because they could die pretty quickly. You know what, though? They are going to uh, definitely get a lot more percentage points than the golems. So the golems have just arrived on their first uh, first defense over there. But there we go, guys. The giants doing some damage to those walls now. So here we go. Giants about to make their way into the center. Going to drop down that first rage spell. See if these giants can make their way around the outside of the base. They are going to die pretty quickly, I believe. Because that multi-target Inferno Tower has already locked onto them. So we're going to drop down the giant, sorry, the golems rage spell to make sure they can get through that level 9 wall as fast as they can. Wow! The Giants are getting wrecked so quickly. Giants going down faster than I could have imagined there. Their healers have died. So the Giants have gone down, guys. We're going to need to send in the heroes. The Golems take this one very, very easily. The Golems are still up and alive, of course. Whereas the uh, the Giants have already all died. Why did you have to go around, Queen? Queen, go into the center. There we go, guys. So the King's there as well. We're going to be dropping this free spell on the Inferno Tower. And, of course, the Expo there. So the Grand Warden and the Queen now making their way into the center. They could actually potentially take this Town Hall if I play it smart. We still got a heal spell as well. The Golems are doing some tanking down the bottom for those Expos. Now I'm hoping we can actually grab the Town Hall here, but I'm not really too sure. We've just hit the 30% one star. Sorry, not one star. We've just hit 30%. So here goes the Rage Spell, guys. Going to try and take out this Inferno Tower as fast as we can. There we go. Going to drop down the heal spell now. Going to pop the Grand Warden's ability just in time. The Queen's ability is going to be popped now. She's going to take out the Expo instead of going for the Town Hall. She cannot reach the Town Hall. It's completely out of range. But there goes the second Expo. She is on nearly maxed health, guys. Not quite, not quite. We're up to 43%. Can we get a one star? There goes the 46%. The King is still alive, but he's going down pretty quickly. Some of his Barbarians have spaced out, though. There we go, guys. 48%. One building to take down, and the queen and the couple of barbarians do it. There it goes. Let's end it there. One star in the bag. We've got a decent loot bonus. But, of course, it is time to get ourselves into the third and the final challenge. So, it is currently 1-1. The golems have taken a star. The giants have taken a star. Let's make our way into challenge number three. So for the final challenge, we are once again going to be attacking Sherbet Towers, guys. But this time, there is going to be a difference. We are going to provide the Giants with quite a few Harry Potters. And we are going to provide the Golems with quite a few Harry Potters. Once again, there are going to be no spells inside of this one, guys. So we're going to go with 12 Giants. We are going to be receiving two Golems. And there are going to be 20 Wizards. So each one is going to receive 10 Wizards, guys. There are going to be six Wall Breakers. There are no Healers inside of this battle. This is strictly no healers. There are no spells. There are no heroes. This is the Giants against the Golems. This is Raw. This is for the final star. 
this is to decide who the winner will be. So this is your final chance to go down below in that comment section. I think I'm losing my voice here. The final chance to go down below in that comment section and take your final guess, guys. You can change your mind. Is it going to be the Golems? Is it going to be the Giants? There we go, guys. There go the 10 Giants. So the 10 Golems. There go the 12 Giants. And of course, there go the 10 Harry Potters. Now remember, there are not a single spell. There aren't any healers. I've got a feeling the Golems are really going to win this one. As long as the Harry Potters can stay alive. The Giants could do a great job here as well, though. But the Giants are running far too ahead for these Wizards to keep up. The Golems, the great thing about the Golems is that they're so slow, they actually work so well with the army. So the Giants have gone way too far ahead. They've left themselves open for attack, guys. And they have melted. They have absolutely melted. And to me, it's very clear that the Golems, although their Wizards died, the Golems are just way too much for the Giants to handle, guys. Golems take the third and, of course, the final star. And it looks like the statistical information was as I thought. The Golems, the old school Golems, one of the oldest troops inside of the game. The original Go Wipe Golems are still, in my opinion, the greatest tank inside of the game. We're going to end up there. With that, we are going to end the episode. Let me know what you think about it in that comment section. Don't forget to leave a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel for more. I will see you shortly. Peace out.